Hi there, Emma from EV Fire Safe. Uh, myself and our technical specialist Dan are over in the UK at the moment. Uh, apparently, we, we had to hire a car, and apparently, there's a shortage of hire cars in London. So, we ended up with a Porsche Taycan, which <laughs> obviously we're not complaining about at all. We took it for a, a spin out on the uh, the British highways in the sunshine. There, it was a lovely day, um, and uh, after a quick stop at a roadside services to get a packet of pickled onion monster munch which was my favorite thing as I was growing up in the UK we actually took it out to uh, Silverstone circuit um, we took it out for a hot lap around the circuit no I'm actually kidding we weren't allowed to but um, we did spot a few cars um, getting around the track there a bit of a but Back to the Taycan, absolute stunner of a car. So let's have a look at this from an emergency response perspective. Amazing German car in the uh, at a, an iconic British uh, location. So let's have a look at uh, how to identify, immobilize and isolate a Porsche Taycan. So the first thing of course is we need to identify it. Now in Australia we have the blue EV badge, front and rear number plates. In the UK they have this green stripe on the left that tells you that the vehicle is electric. Um, it's only come in fairly recently is my understanding so not all cars have it yet. Um, but that is the, the first way to tell that you're dealing with an electric vehicle. But as always look for the external badging, uh, get to know the shape of these vehicles and then pull up the emergency response guide. Now not currently on the ANCAP app but I found it on the, um, the Euro Rescue app so you can see here uh, the, the, this is the, the rescue sheet of about four pages. So um, the other thing to note that uh, you can look for is the charge ports. There's actually two charge ports on the Taycan, both at the front, um, kind of the, the AC on one side, DC on the other. I think we're looking at the, the DC there. Uh, so you're looking for the charge ports uh, and then have a look for, you know, on the dash if you can get access to the cabin. Um, the on off button is to the right of the steering wheel and then the, the gear shift is just to the left. Now to isolate, uh, sorry, to immobilize the, the, um, the vehicle, obviously chock the wheels, then isolate, open the bonnet and just there you can see the green pull plug. Now there's a second pull fuse in the boot here look for that little uh, yellow sticker and it's just in under that panel there now in some electric vehicles when you open the driver's door it will actually uh, immobilize the vehicle it'll put it into park so we wanted to test that with the Taycan uh, so here's Dan doing some stunt work we just uh, drove along and then he opened the door um, but the car still moves along with that driver's door open so uh, that that's kind of standard in things like Tesla's but obviously not the Taycan here so Back on the road, we actually had a quick stop at a place called the Five Bells, uh, just outside London, which is where my grandfather used to drink. Uh, so pretty cool to go and have a look at that little pub. No time for a pint for us, unfortunately, but we had a quick cup of tea and then back on the road. And that was our day at Silverstone. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it.